you're all here! Any sunburns today? Any suntans today? If you could all just be chocolate, it'd be good. <laughs> What's up, Jesus Freaks? How you guys feeling tonight? This, this is a little more people than the 5 o'clock show. Yeah, the 5 o'clock, they were, they were live, but they were, I think they needed dinner. <laughs> Y'all had third show, best show. Third show? Best show. It's called sweat and uh, tears. Both sweat and tears, I think you also. Tears of joy uh, that we're on the water doing this, you know, and um, yeah, thank you. Take a good Deep thoughts with Kevin Max. <laughs> hey, are we moving? Are we on the water? Are we moving? Are we deep? Are we deep down? Yeah. Huh? The ship is left. All right. Yeah. Crazy. I don't know. We're not moving yet, are we? All right. So we're gonna uh, make this one the most raw. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Give, it Give it up for Heath. 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 We affectionately call him Heath. Just like the candy bar. <laughs> he did okay, right? How did you guys like what he did? I mean, what's that? <laughs> So a quick little DC Talk History lesson, not that that six minute video didn't do the trick. <laughs> so when we started out, we, Michael and I were, were dorm mates, at, or roommates at, in a dorm at Liberty University. So we played golf. He was a golfer. I was in choir. <laughs> True story. Well, that got you far the golf got me, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, the next year, Kevin Max came and uh, we all got <laughs> we got an apartment off campus and lived there and started DC Talk and then uh, we finally uh, were getting close to a record deal when suddenly uh, we got a phone call from this guy named Bill Gaither. But he, he didn't want to talk to Kevin or I, he just wanted to talk to Michael Tate and he asked Michael if he would try out for the Gaither vocal band. This is a true story. So. Uh, Bill Gaither sent the jet down to Lynchburg to pick up Michael. And Kevin and I were busy working and going to school, and I was working at this place called Cargo Furniture in the mall. <laughs> okay, Max. And I was working at uh, Benetton, uh, folding shirts and jackets in a perfect Sweater. asymmetrical. <laughs> Too. So we got to talking and we're like, okay, what if what if Michael gets this gate the vocal band thing? What's gonna happen? Are we gonna continue on as DC Talk as just a duo or what? So we made while Michael was in Indiana with Bill Gaither, Kevin and I made up talked about him and we said, okay, we'll meet on our lunch break at Chick-fil-A and have a discussion. Yeah. Back then they didn't have the special sauce. <laughs> <laughs> So we met there and we decided that we would go on with without Michael. Thanks a lot, white guys. I mean, if you got the gig, you, were, you know, you said we were going to take our Gaither. We were going to call BB Wines, right? <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, what happened was uh, we were waiting for the word back and finally Bill Gaither calls and tells Michael he didn't get the gig. But he said, he, said he, He said he gave the, the gig to Mark Lowry, a guy named Mark Lowry. And, uh, that would have been my choice over Mike. <laughs> I would take the tape myself, but uh, I think so. I got I to gotta be honest, I feel like uh, that call, I'm, I'm thankful for that call. We were really glad to have Michael with us. It was really good for Kevin and I, and I think it was even better for Michael. Hey, Amen. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, then we moved. Packed up a U-Haul and we moved from Lynchburg, Virginia to Nashville, Tennessee. Signed up with them. And we got to open up for a few bands. Eddie DeGarmo, who's on the ship, he actually, DeGarmo and Key asked us to open for them. We're very grateful for that. We have not forgotten that. 
And then Michael W. Smith asked us to go out with him. But uh, the truth was we were learning along the way. We were laughing like brothers, sometimes crying like brothers, hungry, not even being able to pay for meals sometimes like brothers. <laughs> Um, and, and ultimately, most of the time, fighting like brothers. That's right. Lots of fighting. Yeah. And the thing about fighting is, what I'm figuring out as I'm getting up in years is it's easy to fight. It's easy to fight. What's hard is to get small and make room for somebody else. And to me, being in a band with three lead singers, you have to get small. And God was teaching us that every day, bit by bit getting smaller to make way for my brothers, teaching each of us that. Finally, uh, we went to uh, the Grammy Awards. It was our first time we were up for a Grammy. For so class. excited. Up for a Grammy for free at last. So we're like, okay, we, we go to my cousin Joey's and we stay the night at his house because we couldn't afford a hotel. He lived in an apartment in the city. So uh, the forefront bought a limo for us. They send a limo over and uh, we're going to the Grammys. I don't remember why we were fighting. Something we were arguing about, like literally getting ready for the Grammy Awards. We go down to the limo. I think I will tell you what it was. We, we, we went to. Uh, I bet you can. Outfit. It's like a thrift store. Me and you. And got these really cool jackets. And, and we didn't buy Toby one. And you didn't. We didn't get you. And Toby got mad. dress alike and Kevin and I found these cool jackets and I was like those will be picked. We got the limo toe was like you guys give me a jacket and all <laughs> the brothers. That was pretty close. You guys, are, you guys are taking me off the runway here. Listen. <laughs> what happened was whatever, whatever it was we got in a, we got an argument. Probably my fault. And well, mostly Kevin's and I just remember it hit me. Here we are in a limo, going to the biggest award show that the world recognizes for music, the Grammys, and we're up for a Grammy. And I just remember started, I just started crying because I'm like, this is pathetic. Like this is our dream come true. God is answering every dream we've yeah. ever had, and every prayer. We're going to the Grammys. This is crazy and we're fighting. We're fighting, we're arguing, like yelling, probably cursing each other, to be honest with you. Yeah, true, 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 true. And I'm, and I'm like, this is, this is awful. And I remember I was like, something has to give. The next week we were on tour, and I read that scripture, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. And I was just convicted. So I said, I brought Michael and Kevin together, and I said, let's make a pact. Let's say for this whole tour, before we go to bed, before we jump in our bunks on the bus, we will make things right with each other. And we did. That led to the song, Just Between You and Me.